is Nancy at Chase headquarters. The target vehicle should be in your sight at any second. Over. Nancy, we got the suspect in our sights. Over. Okay, let's get him. Welcome to another episode from Classic Replay. This one is Chase HQ on the Specky. Let's just have a quick listen to that music and get on with the show. Now this one, Chase HQ, is an all-time favourite of mine, especially the 128K version for the ZX Spectrum. And I'll never forget the day I first clapped eyes on this game. It was the perfect display of the ZX Spectrum's true power. Let's go Mr. Driver! So if you didn't know already, Chase HQ is a 1988 arcade racing game released by Tato. The main protagonist assumes the role of a police officer named Tony Gibson, who is a member of the Special Chase HQ Investigation Department. Along with your partner, Raymond Brody, you must stop the fleeing criminals in the high-speed pursuits in your black Porker 928. It was also released on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. Of the latter, we'll say no more. It featured in the top 100 Your Sinclair ZX Spectrum games, coming in at number 22. The reception at the time from the then gaming mags, for instance Crash, gave it 95%. Computer and video games gave it 97%. Sinclair user gave it 96%. Your Sinclair, 94%. And if you remember the old Ace magazine, they gave it 868 out of 1,000. And it also won the Golden Joystick Awards for Best 8-Bit Coin-Off Conversion and Best 8-Bit Soundtrack. Your Sinclair voted it the top game of all time, according to its readers. In fact, the ZX Spectrum version and the Amstrad CPC conversion received really high uh, review scores and are generally recognised as the most accurate and the most playable from the Ocean home computer releases. The noise of the siren, the speed of the thing is uh, absolutely unbelievable for an 8-bit machine Uh, and the speed of the Amstrad CPC version as well is not too dissimilar. We're chasing down the criminal car there and the flames are piling at the back of it and we just need a few more hits there. You can quite clearly see how detailed the animation is, how well defined the graphics are and how smooth everything is running. Amstrad bunnies will notably go on about the lack of colour but seriously apart from that It's highly playable and it's got absolutely everything you could want from an arcade conversion such as Chase HQ. So we've nearly got him here. Oh, yep, there he is. Come on, pull over you creep. I personally also rate Outrun, the arcade conversion from US Gold on the ZX Becky. I thought it was a great game. Uh, So this guy's wanted for first degree murder. This is the 1980s, so if you can imagine, police brutality must have been through the roof. This guy's probably innocent. There are so many moving objects in this game. It's almost as if it's been redrawn every frame. You've got the helicopter flying above, the highways, the tunnels, and it has to be said, the speech is fantastic in this game. Giddy up, boy. What's interesting about this 128K ZX Specky version, and I believe it was the same for the Amstrad CPC, 
is that it would load all the uh, stages in, in, in from tape uh, into memory in one sitting. It also loaded in the extra speech as well that you didn't get with the 48k version or the Amstrad 64k version. There were several other Ocean games as well that had these similar extras. Um, Robocop and, and Dragon Ninja from memory uh, were two such games. I mean when you consider the limitations of the 8-bit machines this was an absolute essential purchase back in the day. There was nothing else this fast, this exhilarating. The turbo mechanism on the car really gave the game that extra oomph. My hairs on my back still stand up just watching somebody play this game. I rated that highly. Well I've gone on long enough. I'm going to rate this game a 9 out of 10. I just don't believe for one second they could have improved on this back in the day and the programmers of yesteryear really pulled out all the stops with this game if you just happen to be watching what a fantastic job and thank you very much don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos I too am trying to pull out all the stops and give you something really good each time some really good fresh content so I'll go silent now don't all cheer at once if you want watch the rest of the game and you can see how badly I did bye
your time's up. Mr. Driver.
time's up.